Yeah. Right, shall we plough on? Let's plough on. Next round, do you want to start? Or do you no, want you to start, start, Jackie boy. Okay. All right, so, tweed territory. It's, gonna be, it's been a lot of strats so far, isn't it? That's yes. what I said, so let's hope. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a strat. Well, well, you can't get much better than a white strat. Mint green guard as well. It's not Beautiful. a bad thing to see. Beautiful. Still, Beautiful. Very, uh, I don't know if I've ever seen that before, where like the wings are completely green. Yeah. And there's like a lane of a lane off of, white of in the middle. Sweat. Yeah. Well, I suppose that's what it's that's what it's trying to do, but yeah. very very pretty nonetheless. Really nice checking on it as well. Hardware doesn't look too uh, mullered either, does it? It looks nice. That. I think this whole batch <coughs> so far has just been really tasteful. Yeah. Like nothing that's going to offend nothing anybody. Nothing too wild, is there? There. There's a really nice grain to the board of this one as well. Yeah. Chocolatey. Find a nice bit of rosewood on I mean, that Before one. I get too carried away, what is it? What is it, 61? So, Fender. <laughs> uh, no, it's a 63 Strat oh. Journeyman Relic. So you've got a nice little oh. bit of egg. Eggshell yeah, there. Very crackled egg. Nice bit of crackled egg. Um, so we have got heavy relic neck back, as you can yeah. see. So it's got all the lacquer kind of taken off there. Pickup wise, we are fat 60s, which as I mentioned earlier, kind of a good traditional kind of scooped base, but maybe just a little bit more mids there just to kind of uh, push the amp a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, aged Olympic white finish, 63 uh, C-shaped neck profile, 9.5 radius and 6105 frets. So it's again, it's another kind of limited edition uh, relic guitar, but they're kind of all limited aren't they really but have some description or the other yeah i'd be i'd be quite curious to know from the people watching out there you know what do people actually prefer these days do you like the true kind of vintage spec which this is basically true to form isn't it of, of the year of product or do you they we've well, seen that a few looks, guitars that looks as well like that... a good time machine guitar doesn't it, it yeah look, just looks like one that's just naturally aged just by the years you know going by it and the lack of check-in and the hardware hasn't rusted up or anything. It just looks like a true, like, closet guitar, doesn't it? I mean, I, I prefer these, personally, rather than the ones that sort of, you know, hodgepodge different things yeah. together. As great as they are, but it's just hard to beat that. It's a, it's a really. classic look, isn't it? And that just wouldn't look as good if it was mega beat out, beaten up, would it? I don't think. But... No, or if it was pristine as well. Yeah. yeah okay, no, well, nice. that's... Um, good start, good that solid a nice, base. A nice start, yeah, very comfortable. Good foundation. What have we got going on here? Oh, Fiesta, I do love nice. Fiesta. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. That's a really deep Fiesta red yeah, as well. Yeah, that's nice. No, it's a, that's a 62 slash 63. Okay. So that is um, hand-wound 60 slash 63 pickups. They've got a kind of a nice sort of mid-scoop to them. Aged Fiesta red. Uh, it's got a uh, compound radius on the fingerboard, which goes from 7.25 to 9.5. Uh, 63C strap neck profile. Nothing too much to yeah, say. I knew though. it was a uh, 63 type because of the round lamb fingerboard, because I'm a sad man. Well, but there you go. You may be a sad man, but sad at least you're man. a happy man. A happy man. At the same time. Yeah, just two solid strats right there. Yep. Good start. Nice. Pick your solid poison. Start. Yeah. Okay. So let's see if we've got something different. What's it going to be? Ooh, lovely. Not sixties. Beautiful. Or are you going to tell me body. this is sixties? No, no. Oh, another oh, squiggle oh, 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 on the oh, oh. headstock. Is that a Kyle? Is it a Kyle? Could yes, it's another. definitely a uh, master build. Kyle McMillan. Yeah. Master build. That is lovely. It's it's very like cool. a chocolate type burst on that yeah. one. I'm trying to get 58 it. strap, for that is a uh, journeyman relic. What is it? That's faded aged three tone. No, it is faded. Yeah, it was right. I was chocolate three tone sunburst, but faded. Nice. 7.25 to 9.5 compound radius. And it's got a uh, hand wound oh, fat 50s great. pickups with a half blender on there as well and a tone saver. So, like a uh, treble bleed on the volume control. Oh, okay. And I believe the, the half blender. Is that where you can blend these two together? Yes, but it only works, I think, in one position. Okay. So, like a lot of the time on a, on, <clears throat> on, a, on a full blender, you would basically, if you had it adjusted, 
it would sound the same in that position it's or that one. Yeah, I believe yeah. it only does it in one position, but okay. I'm sure when you do the video, we can clarify that one. But We will clarify. Uh, what else have we got going on? It's got the, a little bit of the... Uh, seen Ronnie Wood playing, I know they were early yeah, 50s, but yeah. it, it's got that kind of yeah, no, that's really vibe nice. to it. Stonesy. I like, yeah, I like that little bit of yellow that's still in there. But yeah. I think that's a master built that's really going to appeal to a lot of customers that are just really not into the... I don't think anyone would look that look at that and go, you know, I wish it was more shiny. You know, it's, it's just got a really nice classy look to it, hasn't it? Yeah. Very nice bit of checking going on. Simple, honest, cool. Another Tweedy. Yes! Lovely, very We're nice. We're on the T train. That is a nice piece. So again, it's that kind of nice, uh, almost very slight blonde burst, isn't there? It's slightly more yeah. of a solid blonde finish around the edge. It's very unusual, yeah. It's. I guess they're going, I mean, you oh, can see it lovely. here really yeah, well, can't yeah. you? Nice, oh, lovely. I don't know if I've ever seen that kind of finish before, apart from the other two, no, of no. course, that we've had today. Yeah. That's nice. So that's going to be more of a mid-50s drop, right. I think. Back to traditional pickup orientation. No reverse angle or uncovered neck. Yeah, I like this colour. Like yeah, that. so this is um, 54 telly in that natural blonde finish. So, yeah, so yeah. It's, it's basically more of like a butterscotch blonde that's almost really faded out. So it's got... Yeah. yeah it's like a cross between butterscotch blonde and Mary Kay kind of colour. Yeah. Nice looking guitar. So what we've got going on pickup wise? Pickup wise, we are hand wound loaded no caster pickups. Uh, compound radius 7.25 to 9.5. And it's got medium vintage fret wire according to this. So that's a 54 telly relic. Really? They in natural big. blonde, yeah. It's got, because it's got that ghosting around the, um, the oh, frets yeah, they call it. That I think that always makes them look a little bit bigger. Yeah. Right, is it going to be another telly? <laughs> oh, so, oh! That's like a cactus green. Wow! 15, is that, that must be a fifty-nine telly, single ply. Unless they're playing tricks on us. So what we got here? It's a sixty telly. Okay. So I'm going to say it's some a transition between fifty-nine and sixty. Robin Ford is his a sixty, I believe his telly. You may well so be right. You would know more than me on that. Hopefully, point. it's got some of that uh, DNA in there. That is aged sage green metallic. Oh, it's a great colour. That is lovely. So it's an older body as well. Got a hand wound fifty eight telly neck pickup and bridge as well. Uh, where are we at? Sixties oval C neck profile, nine point five inch radius, sixty one oh fives. It's going to be. I reckon that's going to be chunky sounding. So it only took us about five years to sort it out. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, as everybody knows, the planet has not been in its greatest state recently. And no. some of these things, I mean, when did you order these guitars, probably? Some of these I ordered while ago. Some of these I ordered about two weeks ago. Oh, okay. They were available. So it's a mixed But normally, pack. they're much longer, uh, much, yeah. much longer wait. So that's one of our open neck pickup bad boys there. Yeah, again. so this is kind of... Um, now these oh, are... Oh, wow, these, that weighs nothing. That, these were uh, from... A limited run actually earlier in 2022. Yeah, that's when it was. Okay. So these were rebuilds. So half of this is rebuilds from that order, and the rest is some of those um, available yeah. guitars, like those master builds were, were available. So let's just recover. So a much some heavier of the specs. relic on this one. You said 52? Uh, let's have a look here as well, because it actually comes with an, an, an extra electronics plate as well. Oh. So it must be uh, something to do with. Um, traditional versus non-traditional wiring. Let's have a look at that. So it's the... It's like a little city well, it's, on the back. It's, it's based on a 51 no-caster, but it's the Tomatillo model telly. So it's got those Tomatillo pickups in there. Okay. Um, it's got the V. Yeah, the V, yeah. More, off, more pronounced than the other. Yeah, it's an off-centre V neck profile, 7.25 to 9.5. Right. No-caster blonde, obviously. So it has, in the case, a Fat 50s wiring assembly, which we'll have to do a little bit more research on. Oh, so perhaps this is traditional does. tele wiring then, do you think? Well, we'll have to find out. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Speculating is fun though, isn't it? But that looks, that looks very nice. Great ageing job That's on great. that. I love that. Kind of not too dinged up, but the hell of a load amazing. of checking, isn't there, on there? Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be for everybody, of course, but... That's a really nice 
slightly different take on because we've seen a million of these yeah, heavy no relic casters, yeah, uh, as well. But with the, the different pickups, very good. Got it. Oh, all right. So, f f is this the first finish over finish is, that yeah. we've seen? Okay, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess sixty one. I mean, I don't know what details to look out for here. It's slab but... board, so that would make it first part of 62 and pre that. So let's have a look. It's a 60 jack, so oh. it's a slab board, so it's in the right direction. So it's a, a roasted alder body, Olympic white over three tone burst. It's got a maple riff sawn neck, oval C neck profile. Great checking on it once again. Hand wound 60 strap pickups, uh, vintage upgrade fret wire. Don't exactly know what that means, but we can find out. 9.5 radius oval C neck profile. Is that fairly slim ish kind of profile? Um, as we've proved, I'm not the best judge of character on this, but it feels slimmer than, especially up this end. It feels like it fattens up a bit towards. Yeah, it should be quite a towards sort the of higher slim, end of the neck, slim taper on that. Yeah, one. it feels. Yeah, it's it quite feels slim. speedy. Good weight as well. Yeah. And again, it's the, like the more of the closet, closet, closet classic hardware, so it's not super rusty and stuff. I mean, we've had it in the past, you know, when we've been setting up guitars, it's, they're so rusted that you can't move the saddle, so you have right. to leave some, uh, you know, some lube in there overnight to get them to move sometimes. But Yeah, yeah rust cool. isn't always a good thing to have not, on Not for a tremolo. No. Okay. What are you calling? Uh, I'm thinking telly. But of what era? Yeah. That? Oh! Oh, a spangly one. A spangly orange one. That is Albert. Fay pickup. Albert Collins went to Vegas. That looks really good. So what is, is that champagne? No, champagne metallic? It's, I think it's a, is oh. this a postmodern telly or some description? This little uh, yeah. has uh, given something away there. Let's have a look at yes. that. Yeah, well, the, the headstock logo would indicate that Yeah, it's that more well. of a transition type logo, right. So, so that is, yeah, postmodern telly. And Still the postmodern, for anyone who doesn't, is unaware, is essentially a blend of kind of more modern it's playability like with... modern, but in the past, vintage, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it's, it's like, like postmodern. Yeah, it's like pre-vintage. Pre-vintage. Pre, pre uh, post, postmodern, yeah. The opposite of pre-vintage. That's it. Essentially, it's a bit of a mix what match. What a couple of crazy of, guys. <laughs> full things. Uh, so, ash body. So, yeah, lightweight. Yeah, so it's basically a few more modern features, but still kind of looks oldie oldie. Yeah. So, you've got that nice contour Hence heel the, there. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I know a lot of these specs kind of spill over between time machine type guitars and these kind of things as well. You know, like uh, this should have, uh, you know, it has got you know, 9.5 inch radius. 6105s but it's not like year specific so that they no. can do it's unique yeah something a little it's bit more unique. different with the uh you know the, the compensated saddles there having the kuna fay pick up in the neck there and humor me what is this finish called that is a uh, faded aged candy tangerine so i wasn't even close yeah very very nice it's quite, quite a slim feeling neck as oh, well it's got a dual stack pickup um uh, volume control so it basically the neck pickup sees 500k and the the bridge sees 250. Oh right. So, yeah, pretty pretty. It's like a like a double size pot. Slight angle to that pickup oh, yeah, selection nice. as well. That's weird. That's cool. Because that's normally the the direction that you're yeah. playing down into like that as well. You chop it. I presume they meant to do that. Yeah. And it wasn't just a. Yeah. Of course they did. Factory error. But yeah, that's Silly that's boy. an interesting yeah, angle switch. Angle switch. Okay. Well, there you go. That's the postmodernism. That's, that, no, I think that is a, a very, very cool looking guitar. Oh, that's very nice indeed, isn't it? This is another green guitar, Jack, I think. Yeah. It's one of those. It's, of course, it's not the same, but wasn't there a, um, you know, you'll know better than me, there was a Hendrix Strat. Yeah, wood, that, there was like an ultimate Woodstock thing, wasn't there? Um, or was it Isabella or something it was called? It was, I think, didn't Mayer have one? And it was like a reverse. Oh, reverse, headstock. yeah, yeah. They um, did a master built one. I've got one of those. It's the reverse Proto Strat, which had the reverse headstock. It, it was that kind of colour, but yeah, it, got it a looks bit more like that Hendrix one that they did um, a couple of years ago. Yes. Yeah, I know the one. Yeah, so this is the Tomatillo Strat. So, yes, the, uh, the internet will go into meltdown uh, over the colour mm. that it is Tomatillo Green. 
I'm sticking with old egg. Old egg. Uh, what, rotten, stinky egg. Well, yeah. It smells. It smells pretty good though. Mm. That's fresh nitro for you. Got nice. a nice V to it once again. Yeah. So obviously a guitar like this has to have the Tomatillo pickups in there. It's got a alder body. I like that alder and with a maple neck. Always sounds really good to me. And what have we got? Yeah, compound radius, which is 7.25 to 9.5. Off center V, neck shape, 6105 frets. And it's got that half blender switch okay. on it as well. So we can go a little bit deeper into that and see how that kind of sounds. So Really nice looking fingerboard as well. Once again, yeah. it's not too anemically pale, but it's yeah. also I mean, not... it's just, it looks like a sort of a late 50s type strat, doesn't it? But with, um, you know, with the uh, uh, three ply guard on it. Yeah, that's a nice looking guitar. I'm liking these Vs as well. Yeah. It's kind of an under underused um, profile. I think there's a lot, really. a lot of the times, I think people think that it's going to be really big or uncomfortable, but actually in real world playing, when you're not playing solos 100% of the time, it's a, uh, you know, a really nice feeling neck shape. Yeah, you, your hand molds to it very yeah. quickly. So we're about halfway pretty, there. Pretty hefty unboxing. Yeah. Or uncasing, should I say. Oh, wow. Telly, telly for days. Now that is Robin Fordy kind of vibe, it isn't it? It is, yeah. Oh, is, is it that natural blonde finish? Let's hope it is. We like that. Yeah. Again, you get the giveaway there. I think around yeah. the around the borders. Milky Edge. <laughs> <laughs> if I were in a U a U two tribute band, that would be my uh, my stage name of choice. Yeah. What? Not uh, Rotten Egg or not or Rotten Egg? It was. Milky Edge. <laughs> That's a much lighter board. Yeah, natural blonde. Um, big, big looking frets once again. Yeah. Very wide feeling neck as well. Feels thin and wide. Is it a different what? profile we got here? No. 60 star rifles. <laughs> <laughs> well, different uh, from what? We didn't, we didn't well, establish a foundation. Yes. It's, well, it might feel different to, to someone. It's different to the, different, yeah. the previous well, one. Yeah, it's different to the previous. So ash body, mm -hmm. that's great looking guitar. Yeah. So it's like a nice fit. It's like the opposite to, to that one. It's like a 50s telly with a 60s neck on, whereas that strap was like a 60s strap with a 50s mm -hmm. neck on it. So pickup wise, it's got 58 hand wound telly pickups, 9.5 radius, oval C, 6105 frets. Great looking guitar. I'm going to make an assumption that we're in the 60s. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Oh, okay. Dark fingerboard. Oh. We've got a squiggle once Look again. Look at that flamey. I've got to just point out as well, this case. Is that blue egg? That's an amazing Crushed blue color. egg. I wish the guitar was that color and that material. Oh, never mind. What in the case was black? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. So who are we with It's another today? Kyle. Another Kyle McMillan. Uh, 59 transition <laughs> strat. So yeah, 60s. we've got the single ply guard. Look at that flame on the back of the neck. Let's have a bit more of that. Yeah, again, it reminds me of... Um, where I it must be similar specs to that Daphne Blue one that we had earlier. Definitely inspired oh, yeah. by that old 59 John English Strat. Mm. So the hand-wound Ancho Pablano pickups, oval C-neck profile, uh, 6100 jumbo frets, they're my favourites. I don't know how else to put it other than it looks perfect. Yeah. It's got the perfect ratio of a nice little bit of ageing to the body, nice clean pick guard, but then you get to this neck yeah, it's beautiful. and just that little peak of bit of flame that's a flame is great flame all the way through and from the top of the headstock, the headstock. right down to the, the neck join there isn't it oh i've gone so giddy good weight as well very nice weight you just know that's going to have a great springy kind of sound to it as well mm -hmm. okay so that's this looks like is another this a post modern, modern no I think. it's not a post modern no no i just think it's like a 64 or 65 Type strat. Extremely green. Extremely lettering. green. They are extremely green, aren't they? I like they? it. Let's have a look. So, see what we've got okay, going yeah, on. I think fairly standard. 64 16. strat, journeyman relic. Okay. Target three tone sunburst, which I like. It's a really Very, rich sunburst. Yeah. Really rich. Hand wound fat 64 pickups. That's a new one on me. I've not seen those before. 63 C shape. Neck profile, 9.5 radius, 6105. Super clean neck as well. Yeah, it's still, but not no, sticky, is it? It's uh, nice. It's not nice sticky feel. at all, and there's a tiny little bit of um, wearing bit of on air. the edge, but yeah, yeah, yeah. 
it feels like an otherwise new guitar that you know for, for the people who don't like the warning yeah, really good thing. time machine sort of vibe yeah. isn't it with just a few little checks and dings here and there fat 64 pickups you yeah say. That's been a really nice, um, a great selection a really nice of guitars, selection. yeah, sorry. Whoa. That's very clean, isn't it? Very clean. Shiny, very shiny. This is a Nashville guitar, I would is say. That, uh, it's so clean. Um, yeah, kind of a, like an oiled type sort of neck. It's ghostly. ghostly. It, it feels, you know, there's an element of gloss there, but not uncomfortably so. I don't know how to describe it. It's really light. Um, is this is this just a, a white blonde finish, or is this, this kind is, of a play on the? No, this is a thin skin faded pine telly. Right. So pine body, eastern white pine apparently. So it's based on uh, yeah, so a fifty-seven telly hand wound, fifty-eight pickups. Uh, what else do we have here? Nine point five radius, soft V neck profile, and then it has on the back of the neck it's thin skin lacquer. So right, it does. Yeah, it almost. It's definitely. There's definitely a, a layer of lacquer on there, but it almost does feel satin, doesn't it? It's almost. extremely yeah, smooth. Thin, yeah, and and thin. Yeah, it's. You can tell this is a resonant yeah. guitar. Really yeah. resonant. I really like the pine ones. They always just. They got. You know, they're not quite as brash as a typical no caster. A little bit sweeter on the on the top end. There we go. Mmm. Nice. Rosy, 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 rose, rose. Now that's another one of those interesting. Oh, double bound. Double bound. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Is that blue? Is it? Is it's it egg kind of, or it's, blue? It's duck egg, isn't it? I'm not quite sure what to make of that, but it's very pretty. That is a vintage custom, 1959 Tele Custom. It's called. Oh. So let's check out what's going on with the color. That's a lot of custom. This all the custom, custom shop Tele Custom custom series. That is worse, well, actually Olympic white, but double bound no, with parchment doesn't. color binding. So it's got that flash coat lacquer on it. You can see it's just so, so, so thin. So it's a uh, alder body, apparently with an off center seam, uh, compound radius, 59 large C neck profile. Is it a large C? Uh, you tell me. I mean, it feels. Yeah, I've kind of felt pretty. It chunky. feels fairly yeah. big. Um, very round, very smooth. Very nice dark board. Yeah. So that's. And what were the pickups? Uh, uh, they... Fifty-eight tellies, hand round fifty-eight telly pickups. The last two or three tellies have been yeah. those, haven't they? So yeah. they're obviously a, a good requested. Yeah. Set at the moment. Yeah. My final pick for. This Be nice to have something you know that's really nice and subtle. That goes against nice uh, and subtle. Oh, yeah. you know something, do you? I do, yeah. Oh, oh. Ooh, subtle it is. Yes. What the hell is that? Well, it's gold. That is that wow, is awesome. That is tuxedo flake, telly, flake in your face. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just unpack what's going on here. Yeah. So it's a lot, a lot to demystify there. Whoa, um, double bound. Well, technically, oh, it's got like a herringbone. What is that? It's got like a, a like, yeah, like a herringbone kind of trim on there, it's, it's or a zigzag not... herringbone thing. Let's check Whoa. it out. Let's see what. Let's see what they say. So it is a limited edition Kunafe Telly in aged gold sparkle. Well, should I say a Kunafe Telly custom? Okay. So you've got the wide range Kunafe pickup there, obviously, with a hand wound Texas Special Bridge pickup. It's got that dual stack volume thing as well going on, which is cool. It says black top binding, uh, bind body top and bottom, black only back binding. Has it got the? No, it hasn't got the like the herringbone no, thing going on. No, just on the there. top. Well, this is not for your shy and retiring type, but I like they're tapping into a little bit of uh, Gretsch yeah. energy yeah, here, especially with that Fendery Bigsby thing. On yeah, there. Um, great fretboard as well. It's yeah. quite heavy. I'm going to say that's a lot of that is from this. Meaty tail Let me piece. Just check on that, Jack. Is it the, the one finger test? <laughs> that's, I'd say that's quite light. But perhaps I am just, you know, just at new levels of ripage. I suppose so. Well, we are twenty-something guitars in. I'm sorry. Yeah, to, yeah. I need a, a Mars bar. A coffee. Very, very pretty. Uh, very interesting way to end this. 
we've had the full gamut then, haven't we? We've we got have. Telecasters. Yeah. Um, well, we don't know what's in my case yet. Yeah? Got one to go. Oh, okay. Well, it, you obviously know something about yeah, this, don't yeah, you? Yeah. I don't know anything. No, I did know. I did know about this one. Right. Because Aiden just come running out screaming earlier. <laughs> Look at this! Oh my He's god. Going to have to have his glasses recalibrated. Yeah. Well, just wow. and just new lenses. Yeah. Blew the lenses out. Or is it going to be plain? plain Another chain? color over color. Ooh, okay. Blue uh, inside. What do we think that means? I don't know, but I. This is the real winner of this unboxing for me. Wow. wow. There we go. Got it? I got it. Got it's it. It's a Kyle. Oh, okay. I think. Wow. Yeah, Kyle McMillan 58 Strat. What colour do we have there? So it's aged Sherwood, Sherwood Green yeah. over CH3SB. Chocolate three tone sunburst. Bubbling away. Yeah. Lovely. So what do we have here? Uh, hand wound Fat 50 Strat pickups. Compound radius of 7.25 to 9.5. 6105, which frets seem to be the most popular kind of option these days. Quite a skinny feeling neck. I like the uh, pick guard. It's not too white. It's They've kind of made a single ply look as kind of greened out as they possibly can, which really yeah. works with the aesthetic of the guitar, doesn't it? Well, he's not a one-trick pony, is he, uh, Mr. No. McMillan? Because those other two... A lot cleaner than yeah, this. That's um, a sweet looking guitar. I don't know, does this qualify as a heavy relic? Uh, Maybe not quite. No, I still think it's on. relic because it's just just the natural small bit of arm wear that kind of uh, exposes that. It seems heavier, finish. I suppose, yeah. because of the, the the shade underneath. But really comfortable neck. Soft V. It's Obviously, fine. it's much more um, traditionally intended than this, but it feels to me like those hot rod, you know, like the, the old Charvels. Yeah. Kind of feel where it's really rounded. Um, yeah, it's got a really nice, yeah, rounded on the edges as well, isn't yeah. it? Lovely fret work as well. That's that's the biggest difference as well. You can see the amount of time on master builds. You know, you, it'd be hard for, to see on camera, but if you had this guitar in your hands, you can see how nicely rounded the fret edges are and really polished. There's no burrs or anything on there. It's it's just a really really sweet, you know, feeling guitar and. You know, just looks great. Another lightweight body as well. I think that's going to sound really rich. Um, did we? Yeah, it was Fat 50s pickups, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, nice guitar. Nice overall package as well with that blue case as well. Little nice yeah. strappy and things in there as well. The blue case. Well, that's a fine way to end. A really Please. nice variety of um, Fender Custom Shop products right there. And all I can say, folks, is thank you for joining us on this journey. Uh, I don't know how many parts of this video series you'll have seen. It could have been in two, three, four, whatever, however we decide to break it up. But hopefully you've enjoyed every single guitar. All of the information for which all of these guitars will be on the website, of course, linked down below in the description. Let us know which are your favourites, of course, as well. Indeed. And hopefully, if you were lucky enough to be quick enough, I hope that you enjoy whichever of these that you may have purchased for yourself. So enjoy, enjoy enjoy. Thank you for watching. Take care. We'll see you for another unboxing very soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.